Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to talk about a bunch of useful stuff to help you to get closer to zero input delay here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me say so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys, in the first place, I want to give you a quick example. I'm quite sure every single one of you knows that Windows has like sort of like a built-in recording feature, which is actually called Windows Game Recording Broadcasting. And I just prepared for you here now guys, two specific registry tweaks, which are going to fully disable all the processes in the background, which lead to the service. Because if we can take a look here in your task manager, every single service, something like Microsoft Edge, actually has way more services which are linked to it. So therefore, even if we go into our Windows and we try to like manually disable the Windows recording feature, it's not gonna get fully actually disabled. Like there's still some processes which are active in the background. So therefore I prepared you for you right now guys, two specific registry tweaks, which are going to entirely disable every single link process to that one. And also the Xbox game bar, because that's like also like another Microsoft service, which you can use for recording. I'm quite sure every single one of you knows it. And I'm just going to show you now how you can get this file. And all you guys can do is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website guys, which has been updated again guys, so it should work way better now. And here on the top, you're gonna click on to input delay, then you're gonna get redirected. And here on the top guys, you should see a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. Again, click onto it and then scroll down until you actually find here this download button guys, which is going to redirect you to Google Drive from where you can download a zip file guys. If it's anything else, it's a Chrome extension, you know, just to support the channel a little bit. And then you get it here guys, turn off recording services, just simply extract it all here onto a desktop and then you're gonna go open it up. And in there now we have disable Windows game recording broadcasting. We're gonna click onto it and apply it real quick here. I actually don't know why the finger popped up behind the window, but I guess, okay. The keys and values contained and in the following registry have been now successfully added guys. Then we're gonna go back here into the file itself and then we also have turn off Xbox game bar. Also super important guys, make sure this one is also disabled and then you're already set and good to go guys. Trust me, this is gonna actually reduce the input delay so much because this recording system is always running in the background. So therefore guys, make sure that's disabled and now let's continue with the next steps. I'm quite sure that every single one of you who's trading in Fortnite has a decent keyboard, you know, at least like mechanical or in the best case, optical mechanical. But so many people actually also underestimate that you need a really good mouse for competitive gaming, you know? If we're going to take a look right now at the background footage, guys, you can see on the left side my G Pro Super Lite, which is a tier one mouse, by the way. And on the right side, we have the G Pro Super Lite clone for $10. Of course, they may look in the first place the same, but are they going to perform the same way? Obviously not, because the sensor on the fake one is so much worse. You're gonna have frame skipping, literally you're gonna feel like so much delay while using this mouse. So therefore, if you guys don't know exactly what to look for in a mouse, something like a PV3360 sensor should be like the bare minimum for any gaming mouse. I'm gonna put right now here guys on screen actually like a mouse tier list, which I would say is super representative of which mice are right now good on the market. And I'm going to tell you guys, of course, all these like lower end budget mice for like 10, 15 dollars on Amazon, they may look good. They also may have like some decent switches, but on most cases, they're actually cheap out on the sensor. And you're gonna feel this, guys. Yeah, when you flick like way too hard in game, your mouse is gonna go somewhere entirely different because the sensor can't handle the faster motion. So, therefore, guys, really pay attention to your mouse sensors. This is so important. You definitely shouldn't spend money on a GK61 with yellow switches, which is insanely fast, but then go for like a $10 mouse because that just simply won't make sense. Go for something decent where you know that the sensor is actually really capable of gaming and therefore let's continue now with the next method. And in this next step guys, I'm now going to show you how you can enable the low latency mode on your GPU. This works exactly the same way for AMD guys, but I sadly right now don't have an AMD card plugged in. So therefore I'm going to show you here for Nvidia but it's pretty much like the same steps. What you gotta do in the first place is open up your NVIDIA control panel, guys. You know, just something like me here in the background. And then we have here already here, adjust image settings with preview. We're gonna click onto it, guys. And then we have now use the advanced 3D image settings and we're gonna click here onto take me there. And then once we hear into manage 3D settings, guys, we can see that we have a tier list with like pretty much like all the modes and best settings for low latency, which we have already enabled here for our GPU. And once we here just simply scroll down a little bit, we can already see another low latency mode, which has been actually turned you off on my GPU since the latest update for some reason. And you have two specific options here, guys, on and ultra. And I gotta tell you guys, really depending on like how your PC is built, 
like literally from rig to different rigs it's always different you gotta like try it out for yourself on or ultra might actually be better of course ultra sounds a little bit like better or like more precise but i gotta say personally on my 2070 on was better and on my 3070 ti actually ultra is better so therefore it really depends on your pc build guys like not for every gpu it's the same way so therefore please try it out first of all with on you know then hop into fortnite try to maybe free build for a little bit just try it out of all and then come back in here and actually put it onto ultra and try it out again guys yeah then all you gotta do is pretty much click here onto apply i can just like go here as well real quick for all my nvidia settings so you guys can like maybe copy them if you wish so you know just simply go through it real quick here then once we make sure that it's selected we're gonna click here now onto apply and yeah it should be applied here now in the background it only takes like a few seconds and now we put our latency mode onto ultra and if you gotta read it here the latency control reduces latency by limiting the numbers of frames the cpu can prefer before the frame rate processed by the gpu which means that your GPU and your CPU are gonna work more on par together, which is going to give you way more up-to-date pictures, you know, because it's like not overproduced frames, if it sort of makes sense, guys. And yeah, once we actually get it here, we're gonna close it now. And once we actually now try it on in-game, guys, you can see I have all the settings applied, and I'm right now, by the way, using the booting to 60% keyboard, guys. So therefore, this keyboard is super, super fast. So therefore, this keyboard is super, super fast. And we're just trying to free build a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And you can see no issues at all. I'm just trying to go here for a bunch of triple edits. Okay, kind of messed up there. But you guys get the whole point, yeah? The game is super, super responsive. I literally have no issues at all. And I'm trying to go for some more here. And if you guys are wondering which sound this is in the background, I'm actually using a brand new mouse, guys, which is the Zoe S1. And I gotta say, I love this mouse because I have like a little bit larger hands, you know. So therefore, it's like super, super good here for me with larger hands because, yeah, I just have some issues, you know, sometimes um, with the G-Pro Superlight or like some other mice to actually like fully free build and everything. So that just speaking about the responsiveness of the game right now, you can see guys, I have literally zero input delay and my FPS are super stable. So therefore, definitely worth it, guys. And with that said, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would have made so, so much. And if you guys have still any more questions, for free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and as mentioned guys please also don't forget to subscribe to the stripes 2.0 i'm gonna upload there every like two to three days videos dedicated especially towards low-end gaming pcs you know if you maybe want to get like some new configs if you want to know like some new fps boost packs for low and pc specifically i'm going to cover everything there so please guys just head over and leave a subscribe there you would help me out so much and i already have like a ton of really useful tutorials over there so therefore, yeah, you already got straight up as well content to enjoy. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.